Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be teaching you how to hide the tables by attributes using VBA. A quick recap of what we did previously. We uh, created a function to delete table records. It pretty much deletes all table records with a table name that's provided to the function. We also created a function to see if a table exists. If it exists, it returns true, else it returns false. And then we also have a function to delete a table. If the table exists, then it deletes it. If the table doesn't already exist, it does still return true, else false. And then we have a standard subroutine to display errors if we ever run into the error handler. All right, so let's go ahead and create the function to hide the tables. But before I do that, let's go back to the Microsoft Access database. You can hide tables by right clicking on a table name, going and then choosing hide in this group. By default in Microsoft Access, if you go to the navigation options by right clicking on the menu, this is unchecked so you won't be able to see the table. You can also show the system object tables as well by clicking this. Uh, show system objects. When I write this function, I'm not going to hide these uh, system objects. I'm just going to hide the tables that a user would create. I'm going to leave, I'm going to go to navigation options. I'm going to leave this unchecked. And when we do this in code, when we hide the tables, even if you right click and hit the object and you go over here, in the navigation options and show hidden objects, you still won't be able to see it. So that's the plus side of doing it this way. All right, let's begin. Right. And a lot of this code we can actually copy over. So let's see. So right here we wrote this code to see if a table exists. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this over. Okay, you're pretty much gonna be looping over the table names again. And this function will return true if everything is passed successfully, else it's going to return false. So right now, this uh, function, it'll loop through all the table names, including the system names. Uh, so we want to exclude the system table names. So we're going to add an extra if statement in here. <clears throat> All right, so this function I run if the table name is not like u sys, m sys, or like this with the title. We can remove this part.
So if high to set the true, we're going to hide the tables, else we're going to show the tables. And we use the constant db hidden object to hide the attributes. Oops, you can uh, assign zero to actually show the tables. Go over here, we can move that exit four. At the end, I'm going to set the function to true. If everything passes, let's go ahead and add some error handling. Save this. Compile, see if there's any errors. No errors. All right, let's test this function out and see if I made any mistakes. I'm going to do that. Set it to true the hide of tables. I'm going to hit F5 to run this. It returned true. Let's go back to the assets database. If you hit F5, it's going to refresh the navigation pane. You can see, like, even though the navigation option show hidden object is, set, is checked, it's still hidden. And if I go back over here, you can see I still have the system objects. I can still see them. So everything's working perfectly. Now, let's set this to false, run it, and we should have our table back again. Hit F5 to refresh. And then if you didn't hit F5 to refresh, when you close the database and open it back up, whichever option you choose, if you chose to hit, hide it, you won't be able to see it in the navigation pane, and vice versa.